in the nick of time, at the height or depth, of the NBA's dog days, here comes the NCAA tournament to let us all scout the future. Not that college basketball is an adjunct to the NBA, even if NBA people think it is, as when former Bulls great Scottie Pippen, speaking for the mercenary way, advised Duke phenom Zion Williamson to shut down his college career in February after spraining a knee. If I was going to sit out, Williamson said, I wouldn't have gone to college, happily for all except the Blue Devils opponents, Williamson returned for this week's ACC tournament, looking like his oversized teddy bear dunking on your head self as he made all 13 of his shots in a win over Syracuse with hops no one has seen on such a killer whale since Charles Barkley. Spectacular and adorable, Zion is a new phenomenon, the most hype prospect of the social media era. LeBron James, now the king, literally, with 42 million Twitter followers, was a tad early, even as the most hyped high school player ever in 2003, three years before Twitter launched. Zion's popularity drives press coverage and makes him the rarest of all phenomenons in NCAA basketball, a box office hit who sells out arenas, but guarantees nothing. social media's biggest hype before Zion was high-jumping Andrew Wiggins, who didn't rock anyone's world in college at Kansas and hasn't in the NBA with Minnesota. Williams has issues. As fabulous as he is at this level, his 6'7 listing in sneakers means he's probably 6 to 5 one half. Not that he has needed it at Duke, but he doesn't even have 15-foot range as a shooter, much less make three-pointers, 14 for 48, at 29% mark. Amazingly, an Eastern Conference GM told me he thinks Zion might have gone number 5 in last spring's draft behind NBA-ready prospects DeAndre Aiden, Marvin Bagley, Luka Doncic and Jaron Jackson. Worse for the Knicks, Cavaliers, Bulls and everyone else tanking for Zion, none of whom has more than a 14% chance of drawing him in the revamped draft lottery odds, no other players are close this year. Overall, the GM calls this draft the worst in decades, nevertheless, it's also true that skill levels keep going up. More and more talented players keep arriving, even if some years, like this, you might have as good a chance of selecting a future star at no. 12 as you do at no. 3 in any year, some draftees will break out to the upside, such as Kyle Kuzma at no. 27s and will surprise to the downside, such as Lonzo Ball at number 2. Now, the top prospects, or as close as it gets this year, 1. Zion Williamson, 6-7, 285 FR, Duke with all he has, he's also an all-out, dive-on-the-floor guy, suggesting a great attitude, and amazingly quick for his size. If questions about his shooting won't be answered soon, early indications look good. 2 Yamarant, 603, 175, so, Murray State he moved up when the other top prospects moved down. Great athlete, great length but only an entry-level 3-point shooter at 33.6%. He gets compared to Sacramento's De'Aaron Fox, suggesting that he's nice but not transcendent. 3 RJ. Barrett, 6-7, 202, FR, Duke supposedly number one before the season until Zion happened. He has good size and strength for his shooting guard position, but he isn't explosive athletically. He has an alpha dog personality, relentlessly attacking the hoop. Admirers see James Harden but comparing prospects to all-time greats is Looney Tunes. Skeptic see someone closer to Tyreek Evans. He needs a good outside shot to be special, although he thinks he already has one, attempting 6.43 point shots per game while making only 31.4%. For Cam Reddish, 6-8, 218, FR, Duke with the Duke, he's ranked nose. 1, 2, 3 in their recruiting class, Reddish has become the afterthought, largely reduced to a spot-up shooter who, despite his prep reputation, is making only 33% from three-point range. Pros say, he's better than he looks. He's a good athlete who defends and can make plays. 
5 DeAndre Hunter, 6 to 7, 225, so Virginia another sophomore making a big jump with all the room opening up at the top. Physical small forward, averaging 15 points per game, shooting 53% from the field and 48% from three-point range. 6. Romeo Langford, 6 to 7, 215, FR, Indiana he's a scorer, 16.7, but not an outside shooter, 27.5% from three-point range. 7. Jackson Hayes, 6 to 11, 220, FR, Texas he gets compared favorably to last season's shot-blocking Longhorn, Mo Bamba, who bombed out in Orlando as the number 6 pick amid questions about how badly he wants it. Hayes, a late homer, is considered a safer bet, at least as far as his attitude. 8. Darius Garland, 6-2, 170, FR, Virginia, he was an impressive-looking point guard before and the injury ended his college career after five games. He's still projected to go in the top 10. 9. Nasser Little, 6 to 6, 220, FR, North Carolina If this class is disappointing, he could be the poster child. Despite his huge prep rep and NBA-ready body, he has done little, averaging 18 minutes and 9.3 points as a reserve. He's still projected to go in the top 10. Defenders suggest he's a victim of North Carolina's depth, but you don't see many, or any, wing players who haven't shown more than he has ranked this high. 10. Jarrett Culver, 6-5, 185, so, Texas Tech he's making a big jump from role player as a freshman. He's a combo guard averaging 19 points, but he's yet another entry-level shooter at 34% on three-point attempts. He's a good but not great athlete. 11. Seiko Dombuja, 6-9, 180 Limoges, France the top-ranked Euro in this class is athletic but raw. If US fans think Europeans can all bang down three-pointers, he's more of a developing power forward with no resemblance to last spring's breakout star, Dallas Luka Doncic. 12. Kevin Porter, 6-6, 185, FR, USC Porter shot into the picture last spring when he tore up USA Basketball 18 and under scrimmages, but he was up and down and hurt at USC with run-ins with the coaching staff. In a draft like this, the GM says, a talented player can only fall so far. 13 Rui Hachimura, 6-8, 230, Junior, Gonzaga he's a smallish college big man. He's averaging 20 points with enough improvement as a shooter, making 47% of his three-point shots, to give him a shot at moving outside at the next level 14. Bull Bull, 7-2, 235, FR, Oregon well, he's certainly tall. He's projected in the lottery but the modern game's mixed expectations of young bigs makes it hard for more promising ones than him, like Bamba. He played 9 games, averaging a good but not awesome 2.7 blocked shots, but he shut it down after a leg injury and announced he would turn pro. This was his fifth school in five years after attending four high schools, including Modern Day. Now to see if he makes it a year or two in an NBA city.